We are discussing uh, the, this, uh, from Penine Halacha, Rabbi Eliezer Melamed, on Netilat Lulav, Halacha Bet Igud Haminim Perakei Netilat Lulav. He's talking about how you tie the uh, how you tie the lulav. There's a lot of different ways. Uh, we know that obviously the minim. What do we have to do? Lulav, you have etrog, hadasim, and aravot. Yesterday we we showed that all those terminologies are all uh, targum umkelus. It's not actually the Hebrew, uh, the lashon hakodesh. Uh, but let's see what he says about how do you tie it together. Arbaat haminim akavim ze The four of them are meakiv one to the other. Sheim hayachaser echad meim en yochlin lekem etin zman b'shlot. If a person is missing the etrog and he's got the other three, it's no good. You gotta take them together. We mentioned that in the Tefila Obedi Avad. So he says if you had all four in the front of him and he's just picking up one at a time. He would be Yotzer the Shulchan Aruch on it, but if he's got only three, he's not. Even if he's only three together, together you have to hold them. It's also mitzvah to tie them together. Lulav hadas and aravot. Shekach hu nuya shel mitzvah. It's the beauty of mitzvah that he that he anot lefanav by mitzvot. You have to make the mitzvot. Pretty. They live on veil. Always buy nice quality stuff on them. It's vote. Shema, like it says in Shemot Tetvav Bet. They live on veil. Oh, see, right here. Avada etrog eno neegad im mahem. The etrog doesn't go together. Shekach taiku chami basuk pri etz hadar kapot nuri vanaf etz avot rabe nachal. That in vayikra kaf gimul mem. Haresh shav shavav achibur mechabet shloshet haminim yachad. It says pri etz hadar kapot temanim va anas va anaf etz avot ve arve nachal. Bilu etrog. Notar bilvad. It says pri asadar, and then, then we stop, and then it's kapot tamarim vanaf etz avot rabbi nachal. So those three have the valves connected. Nebi latrug notar levado veinu neegadim him. So that one doesn't come. Yesh amim shemitzvah leegod shloshet amim bekeshet gamur shasul lasato b'shabbat. According to some, you can't do this on Shabbat. Kedugma kesher kaful because it's a double knot. We gamen noagim neshtamesh bekush klach. Kush klach. That's the leaves, right? Yeah. Sh- the, uh, they, they, take, they take a pasul lulav, they, they dry out them, and they do. It's okay. Uh, he says it's, it's good to tie it double time. You don't have to be so makpid. Okay, that's the itva uh, he brings down there. So he says here, you can really tie, tie it with anything you want. It doesn't actually have to be from the uh, from the actual palm leaves. And just tie it around. It, it could be uh, now. If you look in the Mishnah, they used to tie it with gold. Yeah, it's and, and, the, 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 they were gold uh, and uh, yeah, a, a nice rope make it look pretty um so um you have to tie it with uh, with something that's uh, that's from the rest of the items. If let's say for some reason or another the the, the lulav is short, shorter than the hadasim and aravot. That's interesting because you don't see that so often. Or you, you give you two options. You can cut them from the bottom to make sure that the palm would be taller. So that you'd still have the lulav on the top, a tefach from the hadasim and aravot on the bottom, and he would say cut the bottom if they were if they didn't if they didn't um, get to the height. Or he says just tie them where you don't cut them; it's just going longer. So on the bottom you'd have the hadasim and aravot going below the lulav, but on the top it would still be good. Okay, so I think the other option is easy, you know. 
יותר מלולה באחד ואתרוג אחד, don't carry more than one, להדסים צריך שלוש שעה ולערבות שתיים, three הדסים, two ערבות, obviously you know the הדסים need to be משולש, with the three leaves coming out um, per line, לערבות uh, you have the, time, the two, אם רצה להוסיף עוד הדסים בערבות, you want to add more, רשע, you could, ורבים מדקדקים שלא להוסיף על שלושה הדסים ושתי ערבות, that's the Shukran Anuf also, he says, you could, but uh, many don't. They actually do exactly what it says. Asul lo hosif min akher arba'at hamenim shet siftata ve hamosif over al isur bal tosif. It says don't add anything extra to it. So if a guy wants to carry his roses along with his ulav and etrog and adasim and aravot, he wants to hold the rose because he loves the rose. Keshoshana ben hachokhim ken re'ati ben habanot. The guy decided he wants to tie in the chadodi, uh, the shira shirim, he wants to tie in uh, his love. He wants to carry a fourth one. Don't do it. So the hadasim go on the right. Okay. Okay. That's the shla he brings down. And the shulchan aruch also. Um, so, okay. The first option he says in tying them is hadasim on the right and, and Aravot on the left. The other one he says, you can put one Hadas on the right, one on the left, and then one in the center. That's the Shem of the Ari. The Shem Ari. So what would the Arizal his would be? Again, you would have the Lulav in the center, you would have one Hadas on the right, one on the left, one on the center, and then the two Aravot on the side. Both of these are perfect. So the two options that he's giving is Shulchan Aruch. Three Hadassim on the right, two on the left, and you have the love in the middle, or you have one, one, one of the Hadassim, right, left, center, and then the two Aravot. The Hadassim should be a little bit higher. Okay, so based on this, he says it should be a little higher. So if, if technically the way the way that we would do it according to the Arizal, but what he's bringing down is that you would have the Lulav here in the center, then you would have here the Hadas, Hadas, and Hadas on the center, and then you'd have the Aravot on, on here, but they would be lower. So what I'm going to do here for the sake of this, so it's easy to see. What he said here would be as follows. So this is how you would do it. Um, you would actually have the lulav would be here in the center. It would be the highest. Then you would have here the Hadassim, one, two, and then three, and they would be lower than the top uh, of the Lulav. And then you'd have a little lower, I put your Tefach, but didn't say Tefach, but you put your a little lower, and you could put the Aravot, one on each side. This is the custom of the Arizal, to do it this way. If you would do it uh, the way of uh, the uh, Shulchan Aruch, it would be by just taking the Lulav here, and you would have here three Hadassim on the right, and then you'd have the Aravot, the other ones on the other side, on the bottom, just lower. So we'll highlight this one. Okay. And so here's the other option uh, from Shulchan Aruch, where you have just the Lulav down the center. You have the three hadasim, which is about a tefach down, and then you lower the arabot a little lower. And then you can just tie them, tie them together. Uh, the, I asked the uh, chabad here how they tie them. They tell them they put three or five, but the three is kenegad Abraham is hakin Yaakov when they put the three ties on it. Uh, so you have two options. You have the arizal one, and you have the maran shulchan aruch. Let's see what he says. Binosaf le mitzvah lagud the shoshah mimi yachad yesh meadim lekshurat elav atzmo beot shloshah kesharim. He says another custom is to put three ties. Okay, so he says you have to put three ties on the right, and then you have the Aravot 
he says on the top, the Ashkenazim don't make a tie on the top of the lulav, okay? Be'etananuim, so that it can move. Sfaradim, we like to keep it tight on the top. And, oh, that's why you try getting them collected. Yeah, okay, and then, and then, um, and that's brought down to the Rama. Yesh no gim lasot yud chet kesharim bedulav ayin kafa hayim, and he writes here tet zayin. So tet zayin on the kafa hayim, he says do eighteen. So, so you have that. You can tie it with eighteen. You can tie it with three, and you have the two options that we presented. Baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen. Ve'amen.